Good day, everyone. Good day, Larry. Goodness, but you're all looking splendid. I love those long dresses, don't you, Alan? Yeah, I think I'll wear one tomorrow. <laughs> You shouldn't be wearing the high heels today. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we have besides wit and humor and goodwill is two marvelous challengers who hopefully will stump you and later a mystery guest who will do the same. Right now, would our first challenger enter and sign in, please? John Gallo. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. You think it's not good to see you, Mr. Gallo? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Where are you from? The Plain Edge, New York. Okay. Mr. Gallo is vice president in charge of sales for Ceramar Incorporated. For His company deals in a product which we are going to show you right now. Jennifer, if you would. There is the product. Looks like a great big pill. <laughs> Or an elephant, but it isn't. <laughs> there it is. You have to figure out what it is first. Let's show the audience. <laughs> and we'll start the game with a very puzzled looking Gail Sheldon. Thank you, Larry. Mr. Gallo, is this in one piece, this product? No. 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 Oh, One no. down and nine to go. <laughs> Alan? Oh, it, well, then it must be in several pieces. Uh, is it a toy of any kind? No. It's not a toy. Two down and eight to go, Arlene. Does it come in one, two, three, four, six separate pieces? I mean, I do all of those things separate? Yes, they do. Um, uh, are, they bowl, are they all bowl-shaped when they separate? No. No, they're not. Three down and seven to go, soupy. Is this ever used in water? No. In water? No. Uh, is it used? Is its yes. chief use in water? No, no it's I, not. I, no, oh, I didn't no. say it's chief use. What did you mean? I said, is it ever used in water? Or used it, or in could water. Could it be used in water? Uh, could it be used in water? No, it couldn't. Right. Four down and six to go. <laughs> Gail? Is this used indoors? Yes. Would it be used in one particular room in the house? Mm, no. Probably it would be, though, I would think. Wouldn't you? One specific room? More or less, yeah. Yes. You would think of it in being it, used in one room more than any other. Would it probably be the kitchen? Yes. Is it used to put food into? Yes. Um, are they salad bowls? Partly. Yeah, partly, right? Partly. partly. Correct. Mm -hmm. And are they also plates of some kind? Right. Is it a complete salad set? A complete salad set. Yes. No, it no. is not. Five down, five to go. Alan. Uh, is it that kind of... Is that, it must be a plastic material of some sort, yes, right? Yes, it is. Is it plastic because it either gets cold or hot very well? No. 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 Just happens to be plastic. Six down, four to go. Arlene? Well, if it can be used for salad, you said, couldn't you? Yes. Uh, can, it, can it be Partly used for a lot of other things as well? Definitely. Is it a complete set of dishes? It is a 56-piece dinner set. They're all inside. John Gallo is president of Sarah Moore in, uh, Incorporated, importers of the Bomba 56 Space Saver dishes. John, why don't you show us you how the Bomba 56 wait. works, would you? What a good idea. Sounds like a dance from 1948, doesn't it, the Bomba? Oh, there's a beehive. Oh. Now, what is that? That's what we have in here. Dishes. <laughs> Gravy boat, chip and dip. Chip and dip. We just keep right. this right over in here now so that everybody right. can get to see it. What is that? Beverage saver. Cups. Oh, look at the cups. Isn't oh, that no. a, that's the best picnic idea I ever yeah. saw. Where can you get something like this? In all major department stores. Now, what, now what, what is this? How does this come apart? Right. Now, we have our soup plates. Uh -huh. This is a soup plate? That's a soup plate. A salad plate. A dinner plate. Oh, that's oh. sensational. And they repeat it. Absolutely great. It's a complete service for four? Service for six. When it's uh, Bomba 56, it's a service for six. 
and there's be six of each dinner plates, mugs, salads, soups. Uh, how much is this? What, what happens if this comes off? Well, <clears throat> this is just a one that's together, it's a covered casserole. Yeah. yeah. When it's open, well, it's look at this. Look at this. This is dynamite. Look at that. Oh, not the service, too. Right? Have a yeah. That's steel so flat marvelous. You know, let's put this over here for me. Look at that. That's a good design. Yeah. Isn't that good? What are these? Oh, look, look, they're little Dessert ones. Dessert spoons. Dessert spoons. Uh, you could eat your ice cream with that if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Platter and a small salad bowl. Oh, that's really marvelous. That's really super. Yeah. How much does that cost, all of this? $135. What? How much? $135. For the whole thing, thing costs $135, and it comes in two separate color combinations. Jennifer, would you bring the other set out, please? Great. I like that better. Isn't that good? Yeah, yeah. look at that. I really think that's the best. If you have a boat or present. a trailer. Yeah, it'd be great on a boat or a trailer. Or yeah. a small apartment. Well, now listen, gentlemen. Soupy and Alan, would you come up here with us? You saw how this thing came apart. Let's see if you could put it back together. <laughs> so, Mr. Gallo will assemble his set, and you just sort of do what he does. You already have a slight advantage, I suppose, because he has all the where, where do I, sauces uh, out. We just have to put it back in there. Yeah. yeah, and what you want to do now is the best you can. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Gallo. Can you put this back together for us? Now, that goes. Good. Contestants receive Sarah Coventry Jewelry, elegantly designed springtime pin and earrings in silver tones, set with lilac stones and silver chain pastel glow necklace. And cross 14 karat gold filled writing instruments, recognized and appreciated for their lasting value. Cross, the name quality made famous. And a Jean Nate assortment, including friction poorly made. A delicious splash of fragrance to refresh yourself anytime you can tingle to the touch of Jean Nate, Larry. Okay, thank you, Johnny. We're back with our next challenger as enter and check in, please. <laughs> Oh, what a relief, I was afraid. Okay, come on over to that one. Penny Larson. Hi, Penny. Rick. Sit down. Penny Larson and Rick Wemhofer. And where are you from? Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. And you, Rick? Denver. Denver, Colorado, all right. Although Penny and Rick are both from Denver, Colorado, and both work for the same company. They never met until today. The interesting thing is that Rick does a job you might expect Penny to do, and Penny does a job that you might expect Rick to do. Now, first, we'll show the audience what Penny's line is. And now we'll show the audience what Rick's line is. In order to win, panel, in order to win, you have to get both lines. Okay, let's start with Arlene. Uh, since you've never met before, is it a very large place that you work in? Penny? Yes. Uh, is, it, uh, 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 is it indoors? Partly. Partly? To whom are you speaking? Uh, Rick. Rick. Yes. It's your perfect. part is indoors. Yes. Is your part outdoors, Penny? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Uh, does, uh, uh, do you handle anything, any kind of equipment or any things? To whom do you direct that one? Penny. Yes. Um, is it, uh, something, th th is it therefore something that a man usually works with, only now you're working with it? Usually. Yes. Do you have anything to do, Rick, 
um, with um, uh, with handling people in any way, talking to them or helping them in any way? Yes. Do you both work for a non-profit making organization? No. No. That's one. <laughs> that is a definite one down and nine to go, Soupy. Penny, when you do this work, do you do, do you ever move around in this job that you do? Yes. Rip, when uh, you you come in contact with people, are they ever maybe laying down or lying down, whichever the case may be? I don't know. Uh, I yeah. expect from time to time they might be, but I'm not sure that has anything to do with his job. Well, Penny, back to you. Uh, is, <laughs> is this, uh, do you drive some kind of a vehicle? Sometimes. I'm trying to, which I got to direct one to the other. Uh, Penny, do, do you work uh, in a hospital or for a hospital of any kind? No. No, oh, two down and eight to go. Gail. Rick, does this company you work for manufacture product? No. It's not manufacture product. Three down, seven to go. Alan. Is it any kind of public utility? Yes. Uh, Penny, uh, do you do, uh, you do something that men usually do. Do you, do you ever have to climb anything like a pole? Yes. Uh, Rick, are you, do you ever demonstrate anything like cooking? No. Never demonstrate the thing. Four down, six to go, Arlene. Penny, is the pole that you climb anything like a telephone pole? Yes. Uh, do you indeed work for the telephone company in some way? Yes. And uh, you do one of those, I forget what they call that job, but anyway, you work uh, with the wires and so forth on the poles. Sometimes. You tell the birds to get off and things like that. <laughs> Sometimes. Now, Rick, you work indoors at the telephone company, is that correct? Yes. Uh, do, and yet it's a job that a woman usually does. You got it. Uh -huh. He's in charge of the ladies' room. No. <laughs> uh, you, uh, are you a telephone operator? Rick yeah. is a telephone operator. <laughs> Okay, now we have to find out what Penny does. Lineman, is that what the word is? Is she a lineman? No. No, she's not a lineman. That's five down and five to go soupy. Well, she, uh, what, do what do they call, call them? Uh, telephone okay. repairmen. No, sometimes she has to go up, uh, is that what you're calling? Partially. Partially, but that's not the job. I'll tell you, we'll throw them over because it's really hard. She is a telephone installer. Wow. Yes. Yeah. What is it that you do exactly, Penny? Oh, I run wire into the house and I climb poles and generally install and repair telephones. And Rick, what do you do? I place long distance calls as a long distance operator. And when, when, when a customer hears a, a male voice, does he get a weird reaction? Or she? Generally, yes. Uh, you know, it's quite they, common in Europe, but it's just beginning here now. Right. They generally ask me if I'm on, or if the company is on strike, and... <laughs> do you enjoy it? Yes, I do. Are you married? No. Are you married, Penny? Yes. What does your husband feel about you climbing up on a pole? Oh, he doesn't mind the pole so much as he thinks about me working with all the other men all day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with us on Watch My Line. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We're back and it's time to play Who's Who. Could we have the curtains open, Lloyd? Here we have four members of our studio audience and cards which contain the, their job titles. One owns a bowling alley, one is a member of the clergy, one is a beautician, and one is a science teacher. Your job is to give each person the card holding their own job title. You have 20 seconds and we'll start with Gail. That is correct. <laughs> Holy bananas. That's fantastic. Well, would you tell us who you are, please? My name is Marcia Herschel from Youngstown, Ohio, and I'm a beautician. Okay. I'm Larry Herschel from Youngstown, Ohio, and this is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Julie Sofiantini from Queens, and I'm a science teacher. I'm Leonard Buxton from Rockville Center, New York. I'm a Methodist minister. 
Well, congratulations. Thank you for being with us on What's My Line. You'll each get a gift. Super, you seem all in the dark. What's the matter? No, I'm rehearsing because I'm taking over for the Lone Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would everybody put their masks on, please, because yeah. it's time to have our mystery guest. Are the masks all in place? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, would our mystery guest enter and sign in, please? Okay, we're questioning this time is one at a time, and let's start with Gail. Thank you, Larry. Mr. Guest, are you best known for your work in television? Yes. That's a yes. Ooh. Alan? Have you ever had a series with your name in the title? No. No, that's a no. Arlene? Never had a series. Uh, uh, are you on television fairly regularly? Yes. That's a yes, Soupy. Is that because you're like on a, someone else's show, but you're like a regular on a... Mm-hmm. That's a mm-hmm. Gail? Mm. <laughs> Are you a dramatic actor? <laughs> no. That's a new. Alan? Are you on a series with a lady's name in the title? No. No, I'm not sure we established that he was on a series at all, Eileen. Oh. No, but he's on on a regular basis on a show. We did establish that, didn't we? Yes, we did establish that. That we Sounds did. as though he's very male-oriented. <laughs> Are you on a news show of some kind? A news show? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He yes. is, Soupy. So you in the, oh, the, you are indeed a newscaster, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, he says. In a manner of speaking, yes, among other things. Gail? Are you a sportscaster? <clears throat> That's a no. Alan? Are you on a network news staff? Mm -hmm. He is on a network news staff. I tell you, I take It's a specific it. job. Carl Stokes. Carl Stokes? Gene Shallot. Gene Shallot is right. Ah. Ah. Oh. You know, Gene, what, Alan? I have to ask him. Have you ever seen a movie you like? Have I ever met you before? <laughs> <laughs> no, I really mean this. Have I ever seen you before? Have you no. ever seen me before? In person, never. No. I've never been near you, right? No. Did you know that this is being a critic, I'm a magician? No. I've never been near you to your knowledge. Right. But I have. Yes. I got your wallet. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> With Bob. proper identification and uh, yeah. of the one dollar bill in here, <laughs> it wasn't worth it. <laughs> yeah, answer my question, Jerry. Is there a movie you like? Yeah, I saw a lot of movies I like. Yeah. What's your favorite ever? You think, or do you have one? God, I've seen thousands. It's hard to have one favorite, but I think uh, one of my favorites is a European movie called uh, The Grand Illusion. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Ban. I oh think you got to come up later than that, Gene. Well, I stay up later than that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when Gene is doing those reviews and your eyes are just dancing with mischief. Dancing with mischief? Yeah, you just see. I wish so I could find a girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, there she is right there, Miss Gail Chiff. <laughs> Miss Chiff, there she is. Listen, what are you going to be... Now, you're still having your column, though, aren't you? Yeah, I have a column in the Ladies' Home Journal. Which do you like most, writing that column or doing the newscasts and the, and oh, the criticisms? God. They're both watching. <laughs> yeah. No, but do you do enjoy one I enjoy function it all. It's all a form of writing. Television mm -hmm. is just spoken writing, as far as I'm concerned, the way I do it. That's true. And mm -hmm. thank you for being on What's My Line as a mystery you all. <laughs> Man just gave me a signal that said I got five seconds to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking for What's My Line, a Mark Woodson, Bill Todman production.